Hi everybody, all hail the Game King with one of my favorite games this year called You Can't Say Um. Guess what the premise of that might be? Um... Right there, see? You can't say um, that's the whole point of it. So with this game, you have an A and a B card. One is an adjective and one is a noun. So I give those to you. You're gonna have to describe both of those words. You're gonna have as much time as I've got here in the timer to describe both of them. You may not say the word, obviously. Um, uh, er, okay. Uh, anything like that. None of these verbal, whatever those are called. In addition, we're going to throw an extra rule. You have to lean sideways as far as you can while you're describing <laughs> this. Now, the problem is this just gives your mind something else to think about so that you're not thinking about, I can't say, um, I can't say, um. Now you're thinking about leaning and your mind gets thinking about leaning and then you're more likely to say, um. So you have to do both those. Go! <laughs> um... <laughs> Right off the bat, there there was the um. But go ahead, keep this going. This is a cumulonimbus cloud, and it is spooky, like a spider. It's a word to describe a spider kind cloud. Of, a no, 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 it's kind of just eerie, icky, gross. Uh, la, 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 I mean, la, la, la. a second word for the yeah, first yeah, word? yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The cloud was already the first one. Yeah, cloud oh. was the first word. Sorry, you got cloud. Okay, now I'm doing the adjective. Help spooky, me, my abs creepy, hurt. spooky, creepy. Yeah, creepy. creepy. Oh, okay, yeah, creepy. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got it. Okay, so we were able to do that. Oh, you're doing. Oh, you do more. Oh, keep yeah, going. Yeah, you do more. Uh, you crack the whip. Yes, and I'm, I'm by myself. I'm so alone. Yes, yes, lonely. Yes, lonely. Okay, there we go. The timer runs out. So you do that as you can. There's a board here, and you can mark them up here. But just the, the fun of it is the. This making you think outside the box and doing the A, B words, the adjectives and the nouns to see how well you can go. Uh, it's a fun game because, with, especially with the right group of people yeah. that like to say um a lot, then it's, you're hitting the bell the whole time. You, what do you like, what do you not like about this game? Yeah, I do like that with the right group of people, this game can be very fun. <laughs> lots of ums and lots of buzzing and lots of laughing. Uh, it can also be... Uh, it can drag on a little bit and it can get frustrating <laughs> with some of the rules. So, yeah. It, it's a great fun game. A great game, especially, this is a good one for Christmas Day. When you, If you give someone to a present, you're going to open it up or you're going to go visit someone you want to bring a present. This is a good one because then you can say, hey, everybody, gather around. We're going we're gonna to play a game. And everyone's laughing. Everyone's having a fun time. So it's a great Christmas gift family party type game. Yes. You can't say, um... It's a great game. They say it's uh, for four to ten players. You could probably play with more than that. Just people oh, yeah. all sitting around laughing, having a good time. As yeah. long as you can read a card. Actually, here's a little note. I found kids sometimes don't say um as much as adults. Because sometimes we haven't trained them to say um. I don't that know if that's sense. true or not. Maybe you just got played with kids who don't say um. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a dumb adult who says um. But you can't anymore. Can't say um. One of our favorite new games from the Game King and the Game Prince.